Yes, tonight we're going to start with an update on the struggle of one senior living community. Three weeks ago, you might remember more than 80 elderly folks had to evacuate from the Magnolia senior apartments and they remain displaced from their homes. This is all because several units flooded. Well, this week they'll finally get to go inside and get their belongings. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman shares their next steps. Residents have been pleading to get inside their homes here for weeks, but management said it wasn't safe to do so. Starting tomorrow, they'll finally be able to grab their things and assess the damage. After weeks of heartache and stress, I was traumatized. It's some good news for Denise Watson and her neighbors. From Tuesday to Thursday, Magnolia senior residents can grab what was left behind when they were evacuated. I don't have any clothes, so I have to buy socks, hairbrush, every, everything. After a pipe burst on Christmas Day, residents tell me a lot of their stuff is ruined. They won't know the extent of water damage until they get inside. My hope tomorrow is that my things will be salvageable. They've been in hotels since the incident, many not knowing how they're going to eat or get medication. We still have seniors who still need clothes. They need food, personal hygiene. They need money to uh, get their medicines. Jeanette Kennard and Willis Drone Jr. run organizations that have been helping the seniors navigate this tough situation. We're looking for storage space. Um, we're also looking for a long-term and um, short-term residential stay. Management doesn't know when repairs will be done and people can move back in, saying it could be as long as nine months. 50 out of the 80 units are damaged. Owner Bill Bolstad says out of the 50 that need repairs, there are nine that are severe. We're talking to them about um, whether we might need to terminate the lease. I don't know if we need to go that far, but it's possible we might need to. So we're having those conversations with them now. The nonprofits are looking for volunteers to help residents collect their things this week. We have information on how you can help on our website, WCNC.com. In Charlotte, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.